Hey, it's Tuesday. Tuesday? Yes. So, that's a little off center. Um, I have become addicted. Well, I shouldn't say addicted. There are probably some people out there that are like, that's not an addiction. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's a sugar, ad sugar addiction. So, it's to Werther's with the Caramel Apple Center. Because you get that Werther's for a little while, and then, like, it finally breaks through. I want it right now. And it, um, then finally breaks, and it's just like, garble apple everywhere. Because it's kind of this weird semi-liquid thing. Yay, duty officers. Yay. 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 Okay. My morning routine is weird. Oh, still got more coffee. Sorry, I had coffee on the handle. Spill. What are we supposed to get up to today? Come on. What the heck? I know I have email. 50. I'm supposed to get up to 50 today. But it looks like rain. Tut tut, looks like rain. Oh god, it's Zynga telling me my farm build's ready. Is it really? Yes. And broccoli. Anyways, oh well, morning, Mo. Here. You can get morning kitty while I wake up. It's really cute. Look at him. Hello, Mo. Yes, you're just pulling yourself along the carpet because you know you're on tape and you're going to go back out to the internet like you did the other time. Yes. Yes. Did you hear the crow outside? That's the porch. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now you're being cute. Now, now you're trying to be. Now you're trying to do kitty porn. That's that's just not good. All right, there's your morning cat. He happens to be out here for some reason. I don't know. The cat, they do what they want. So, um, we'll uh, come back when I've awoken and have an idea what I'm going to do today. Mm -hmm. Move it to the other side, otherwise it gets like too sweet on the one side and you get numb to the flavor. Oh, there he goes, now he's not going to be. He sits on top of our chimney, because our chimney's right there. Our fireplace is right there, and the chimney goes straight up, but duh. And he sits on top of it, and he caws out to the rest of the thing. And it comes back down. It's like, stop it. Anyways, so... Uh, I'm going to do something on Star Trek or something. I'm going to catch you all here in a bit. Um, I don't have any filler video. I'm just, we're just going to cut and I'm going to come back and I'm going to be like way more awake and with it. Alright, so now that I'm awake and, you know, Aaron's off to work and whatnot, um, I have something to show you because while Aaron's here, I don't, you know, it's like I got to spend time with him before, you know, he goes to work for the next nine hours. You know, he gets out of the bathroom around 11.30, and then we have, what, about an hour before he leaves for work. And so, we watch some shows. So, there's there's that, all that. And so, I don't record during that time unless there's absolutely something imperative, and there was. So, I'm going to show you, because we were watching The Chew. And I looked outside and I was like, oh, getting a little gray. As it would possibly, probably, you know, it's the Pacific Northwest. You know, it's Oregon. It's going to get gray. <laughs> and I was like, oh, right, Aaron, just to let you know, it's going to be kind of rainy the rest of this week. 
but it should be dry by the weekend if we want to head down to, say, Cartlandia or something. And he was like, oh, oh, okay, well, that's good to know. And then I'm like, doing more stuff in Tempest Keep because, well, I was doing my Kalthos for the week. And I'm like, do, 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 do. Okay, LR's done. And then I'm like, what? Holy hell. And that's what this is. New Duff for color treated hair is a dual strap formulation that nourishes and protects colored hair. Now, not that big a deal, because it's like, oh, wow, you predicted rain in the Pacific Northwest. You know, that's sort of like, you know, predicting you're going to hear someone honk in New York. Even though it's a fine, but nobody follows it. I've been to New York, I know. <laughs> Anyways, so he's like, wow, I guess it really is raining. And then, you know, I look up and I'm like... That's where all those gray clouds came from. So then something happens on the chew because there's a chocolate indulgent truffle Belgian thingy majigger. Um, and I'll put a picture of that at the end here with the amazingness of what it looks like. And so <laughs> that's that. I'll, you know, at the whole end of the thing and you just stare at this wonderful cake. And I'll put a link to the choose thing on how to make it in case you're a baking whiz that I'm not. So I'm like, do 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 do. And then we both have that like, are we having a stroke moment? And I take a video of this. Probably three minutes in between each. <laughs> Pretty much that's it. So, yeah. I need some sort of internal beat. Uh, I don't know if that's an Aspie thing or just how I've learned to think. I don't know. Like I said, I've got a lot of weird Aspie traits that I don't... Since I didn't have a lot of socialization when I was younger. I mean, up until I went to college. Which... If you've been following, you know that was at the ripe old age of 25. Um, yeah, I um, didn't really have much socialization. Oh, well, no, I had a lot. But they were all the same kind of people. Make any sense? Anyways. No, that doesn't make a sense. That just makes sense to a lot of people. I can go into that in a later video because it's kind of depressing and this is already going up there. So, yeah, one of my old roommates, first roommate technically, <laughs> we can go with second, but he was the first one to ever be on the lease. Um, he lives podunk Washington and he posted Facebook, oh my god, road trip. I'm like, road trip? What are you, going across the country? I'm coming down to Vancouver. I get to see all my friends. And I'm like, sorry, I don't live there anymore. He's like, oh, well, maybe I can come over and visit to wherever you're at. And I'm like, no, I live even further away. You know, because he's coming down for his parent, his mom's wedding or something. I don't know. When I have can, well, so I have to hit the space bar. And, yeah, so... And I was like, dude, you can't. And besides, you know, even if you did want to come all the way out to where I'm at, because I'm still near Portland, but in order to get from Vancouver through Portland to where I'm at, it's like a 30-minute drive. And yada. So, anyways. Couch is breaking. No, it's not. It's just like the, the back cushion is getting like Jabba the Hutt feeling. It's like getting fatter on the middle and saggy at the top. Yeah, it's because we are tall. This couch is a little, it's a little love seat and it's only, it's meant for, you know, normal sized people, not the social giants that Aaron and I are. I mean, he's six foot five and I'm, you know, six feet tall and this couch is, well, judging by its design, it's designed for probably people that are like five foot three to five foot six, you know? Which is normal-sized people, <laughs> you know. 
but I'm like freakishly tall. I can see that because you know I walk around and like people are shorter than me, and I I feel giant. Poor Aaron, you know. I mean, I understand. I, I've met you know people with actual giantism that are like seven foot two, but like skeletons because they have giantism and they don't and they're just humongous. So, anyways, um, yeah, so I will cut this one off here, mix it together, yeah, and I will chit-chat with y'all later. Oh, we did wind up doing our workout thing last night, so, what, I was on the treadmill for 35 minutes at three and a half miles an hour, or more, depending on what the song did. I don't think that treadmill tells me exactly how many calories I burned. It was like, you burned 201 calories. I'm like, shit. Okay. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, the allergies are kicking up. I think... I don't know. Something's getting to my eye. In case anybody was wondering, it's this eye and it might be more red than typical. So yeah, I will catch y'all later.